Okay guys, I apologize for the long wait for this video. This is the opening box and review of the T2 Nano uh, rotary. Um, basically a direct drive. Um, pretty cool little machine. The reason I purchased this was um, the price. The price was reasonable and it was what I was aiming for um, for the cartridge machines. I like using cartridges, a little bit simp simpler. Um, getting to no tattooing and uh, learning. Uh, my last machine died, so this is the reason why I purchased this. Um, I purchased this from Worldwide Tattoo Supply uh, .ca. Um, these guys are pretty cool. Want to give a big shout out, shout out to those guys. Thank you. No, this was not supplied by them for free or anything like that. I did pay for this, um, but uh, I figured I'd show the world. Um, but I will let you know, I have opened them and use them, which is why I'm able to give you somewhat of a review. But they are going to be exactly as if I'm just opening them up brand new. So, um, I also have my Cyclone 1 Mini Digital uh, Power Supply, which I will use to show you how this machine works. Um, we'll start with the, uh, the grip. So, um, we have this, uh, I like the boxes kind of fancy, nice, you know, um, better than some, some places they just throw, throw their machines in a crappy little box, and you get this nice little piece of foam to protect it, and then you have your grip, all right, so, take that out, show you the grip, um, this will slide up, tighten up onto your machine, um, and I believe at some point these little rubber um, pieces will eventually wear out and maybe need to be replaced but uh, so far no problems um, now this grip also does click to adjust your needle depth which is good um, and I did find that even while wrapping the machine you can still um, take advantage of that, which is not a problem, and I found to be uh, pretty cool. All right, so that is the grip. And no, none of this is plastic, all metal. Um, even this piece here, metal. Okay, so I'll put that away. Just leave it here for now. All right, so this is the machine. Now I ordered mine in pink because, well, Elvis rock pink. Why can't I, right? I love pink. It's such a cool color. This is uh, the Suicide um, Pink. Now after doing my research too, I found out this is um, a division of uh, Victor Chang. So this is a worldwide tattoo um, supply uh, brand, I believe. So when you first open the box, this is what you're going to see. Get this nice business card from T2 Nano. Um, it says uh, T2 Nano Equipment, the leader in tattoo machine technology. The T2 Nano packs a huge punch and will change the tattoo industry. On the back we have a few things here. Uh, one, it says no lube needed, which uh, it also avoids the warranty if you use any type of lube um, in the one year that they have the warranty. Uh, cartridge machine. So you got a 3.5 millimeter cam and a 4 millimeter cam. Um, compatible with hawk grips and cartridge needles. Uh, it's made from aircraft aluminum. Uh, precision max on motor with dual ball bearings, which I find is is uh, nice to. It's comforting to have a nice motor in there. Dual ball bearings. Um, <clears throat> RCA connection. Uh, designed in California, USA. Uh, one year warranty on all parts. Um, the plunger, 71 millimeter. Um, Machine works best between 6 to 8.5 volts, depending on your hand speed and style. And the grip is also aluminum. All, all machines come with a one year warranty. Uh, so it says here. Warranty is void if you lube your machine, drop your machine, or get it wet. Tamper with the motor, replace parts on your own. So don't do that. The only thing that I would complain about all of this is how to get a hold of the company. If you're offering a one-year warranty, how do I get a hold of you guys? So, 
Um, that's my only issue. Is uh, there's nothing on the box or um, all that wonderful jazz. And then you have your two Allen keys. This would be to um, basically change out your cams and um, open up and uh, check out your motor, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't messed around with that. I'm trying to keep my warranty good. I haven't had any problems with this machine so far. Um, I've done a few tattoos so far. So good. Alright, now let's put this over here. So this is what it looks like when you open the box. This is the machine. And then down in here, you have your other cam. So it comes installed with the 3.5 millimeter cam. And then your 4 millimeter will be sitting down. This is the machine. Pretty neat little thing. Really tiny, very light. Um, sits well. And uh, it's really good with the, um, the balance. That's what I find. Um, and the only thing that I did find with this is it running at a higher volts. You do feel the RPM and the vibration a little bit, which kind of does, for me, I kind of get a little bit numb in the fingers. Um, but yeah, pretty cool machine. And that's the Suicide Pink version. I have not pulled it apart yet. Um, I've had no need to. Um, but yeah, so there's uh, that with the cam that come installed. Let's put this here for now. Trying to take out this other cam. Alright. So here is your other cam. <coughs> Pretty cool. Now this kind of almost feels like a bit of a knockoff of some of the other machines out there. Um, like the Bishop, uh, Microangelo, or machines like that. Um, definitely a lot cheaper. I don't know if it runs as good or if not better. I have not been able to test the other machine, so I can't. I can't knock the Bishop. But at the price point, this is what uh, I could afford. So you probably want to see what this sounds like and what it looks like running. So we'll put that in there. Make sure you don't cross it. It's going nice and smooth. That's good. Just a little bit hand tight. Don't need it too tight. So this is your machine with the grip. And like I said, grip is adjustable. So you can uh, get your needle depth set. Let's put that there for now. And I just need to find my cord. Okay, so I have my cord. Everything somewhat set up here. So we can do this as quickly as possible. Now this is not a review for the Cyclone, Cyclone Digital, but I will say Pretty cool little machine for the price, also from worldwidetattoo.supply, or supply.ca. Um, haven't had any issues with it. Um, this machine and this power supply seem to work really good together. Alright, so. Alright. As you can tell, I like colorful things. Now, one thing I found funny is that I also ordered this cord from T2 at worldwide.tattoosupply.ca. Uh, I'm curious, why would you make the tips here gold-plated? 
which helps conduct electricity better, but not the connection on the machine. Uh, you know, not a big issue, but to me it just kind of goes against creating better connectivity. This sh should be gold plated as well, even if it costs a little bit extra, but it would help those to conduct better electricity from what I know, but I don't know everything. Anyways, so let's put this in. And let's see how this all sounds and works. So, get some power in here. Let's set up the line. All right. So it says on the card between six point or six point five and eight point five, I believe, or six to eight point five. Machine works best between 6 to 8.5 volts. Now me personally, I try and do my tattoos at what I feel is comfortable and I try not to run at a very high speed because I don't want to chew up a person's skin so I'd rather take my time and um, if I have to go back and, and touch up after, um, that's way better than scarring them is what I find. Alright, so this pedal up here and then the machine okay <clears throat> I guess I need a needle So I just started using some different cartridge needles and um, I switched over to Radical. Um, so far I'm pretty happy with them. Um, now I'll start by saying this motor, um, how this machine works, is phenomenal for lining. Um, plenty of power at low volts. Um, now also um, I just did a tattoo last weekend, um, and the largest needle I was using was a, a 15, um, 15 curved magnum, so 15 needles. Um, this thing had no problems whatsoever pushing that. Um, did it comfortably the whole time, and I checked throughout the tattoo to see if I was heating up at all in here. No heat whatsoever. Um, I did not have to tune the machine whatsoever. Um, everything is working wonderfully. So uh, as you can see once the needle's in there you turn that and that will adjust your needle depth. So that way there I'm already maxed out to the max needle depth. So let's see if I can Maybe show you guys. Now you can see how deep that needle is coming out. Pretty noisy like that, but this is too much play in, in the cartridge needle. But as we keep clicking, you'll notice the depth in the needle is getting more shallow there. <coughs> Now, let's start at 6. Just to see how this thing sounds. So that is the machine at 6 volts. Um, I didn't find it had any problems um, at the lower volts in getting the needle in. Whereas some machines you might find that. Especially with the direct drive, it really punches the needle in there. Um, when I first started, I was at about six and a half. And um, hopefully you can hear that. And you can see the machine work. Now, if we're gonna try doing some cheating, let's uh, bump her up to what they say and recommend 
Yeah, just under 8.5. So, this is the machine at 8.5. And you can give it a shake. No moving parts in there. Nothing coming apart. This is a well-built machine. And uh, I've had no problem pushing any of the cartridge needles that I've used up to the 15 um, curved magnum so far. I uh, was using an 11 round liner for my lining. Um, not a problem whatsoever. Uh, I just also want to say the last tattoo that I did lasted almost 20 hours or 18 hours. Um, the guy was a soldier and wanted to keep going. So I went as far as he could without um, causing any trauma to him. And uh, it went pretty well. I'm really surprised by this machine. Um, when I ordered from Worldwide Tattoo Supplied um, out in BC, it, on their website was $315 plus tax and then shipping. Um, so I ordered this power supply, the Cyclone 1, with this machine that comes included with the grip. I had to order the cord, which was another $32 or $35, I believe. Um, that uh, all in total came up to about $600. Um, now I did get express shipping uh, one day by UPS, but um, honestly, really, really happy with this machine. And I think if you're just getting into tattooing, this is a good start. And even if you've been tattooing for a while, um, this would be a cool tattoo machine as uh, a backup or even a main machine. Um, another reason why I purchased this was uh, trying to deal with Hummingbird Rotary because I was trying to get something, you know, good bang for the buck machine. And trying to deal with Hummingbird's customer service and pay for the machine was worse than pulling teeth. I don't deal with PayPal and uh, credit cards and whatnot. Um, I have my way of doing things. If you don't accept email transfer uh, or um, certain things, then yeah. So, I didn't go with the Hummingbird, and I will not be going with the Hummingbird. I will be looking at um, T2's uh, pen in the future. A little bit more pricey, but I like the fact that it has the dual motors. Um, one for your shading and color packing, and the one for lining. Pretty cool setup. But after trying this machine, I'm happy with them. And I think I'll give their other machine a, a try. Um, so, I hope you like this video. And... Um, yeah. That is the machine, the grip, and this power supply all working together. Um, yeah, happy customer here. Uh, I do recommend this product or this machine. Um, and plus the price, you, you can't really argue with the price compared to some of the other things or the other machines out there. Anyways, enjoy your day.